This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Navigating in three dimensions is much more difficult than it is in two dimensions. It can be very difficult to know where you are and especially where you want to draw. One of the easiest and quickest ways to see your objects in 3D is with the 3D orbit command. It would be even easier if we had some 3D objects to look at. So just draw a box very quickly, and then let's look at the 3D orbit. It's very easy to get to. Just hold your shift key down and the middle scroll wheel on your mouse. You'll see the icon open up, and just move your mouse. When you move it up and down, it does this rotate. Side to side, it spins. When you kind of go to a corner, it does a combination of them. The more you move, the quicker it spins. You can still zoom in and out or pan with your mouse button just like you normally would. If you select an object, then press the shift button and your middle mouse button, it'll isolate just that object. I'll show you. I'll copy a few more blocks in here. If we pick the center one, shift and middle mouse button, it isolates that object. I can pick more than one object and do the same thing. That's one of the quickest and easiest ways to get through your 3D model and to know where it is. There are also some preset views in AutoCAD. Top for the top view, which is where all of your 2D drawing takes place. The bottom view, left, right, front, and the back. You can always get to any of these at any time just by clicking on it. Also, if you type in view on the command line, you can find your preset views right here, top, bottom, left, right, etc., along with some of your isometric views. You can make a view at any time and save it and have it in here and you can use. We're in our top view now. Now, you've used the UCS before, the user coordinate system. Well, with 3D modeling, you can change that user coordinate system to get a different view and to make sure you're drawing in the right plane. Well, this is very cumbersome, especially when your drawings and models get more and more planar and out of plane. So to change that UCS every time, you really don't want to have to do that. So Autodesk put something into AutoCAD called a dynamic UCS. You can toggle that on and off right here. Now, if I have it turned off like I do at the moment, and I spin around, and I want to draw, let's say, another box. I'm not sure exactly where this box is being drawn at. Now, luckily, it's in there pretty good, and I got lucky. But if I spin around over here, now where is it at? I don't really know. What if I wanted it to match with the top or the side? Well, that's where Dynamic UCS comes in. Turn it on. Pick my command, the box, and as I moved over all of these objects, you'll see that the face of the object is getting highlighted. That's the dynamic UCS. You'll also notice that my crosshairs slightly change. And now I'm matching that plane and I'm drawing on it. Pretty handy. If I start the command again, it'll match this plane and I can draw right on it. That's dynamic UCS. Just move around and navigate until your drawing matches the plane you want to use. Now there are some other things called gizmos that help you move objects in 3D. Now they're literally called gizmos. You can go to the Home tab in the ribbon, then go to the Modify panel. The gizmos are right here. There are three of them, 3D Scale, Rotate, and move. If we go to the scale and then pick your object, press enter, you'll see the gizmo here, it comes up. Now the scale's not that exciting, but the parts that highlight in yellow along the axis or along these planes is where I can scale it along those axes. So here I am scaling my 3D object. That one's a little bit difficult to see and appreciate, but let's look at the 3D rotate. Start the command, pick an object, press enter. Now I have this sphere looking thing with the three axes all in their appropriate colors, red, green, and blue. 
As I select one, the axis turns yellow. Well, that's the axis once I select with and hold with my left button, I'm going to rotate it around. And note how my angle of rotation is highlighted along that plane, or that axis. Do it again, and we'll show you the other direction. So essentially, with that 3D rotate command, I can rotate it in any direction. Now the 3D move works the same way. Pick my object, and I can move it along this axis, along any single axis, or along a plane, which would mean two axes at the same time. So those are your gizmos. Those will help you to maneuver and move your objects in 3D in the proper direction you want them to so that you can create and better edit your 3D model.